This is a rough man solar panel setup for temporary uses around the yard and around the house. Now, I have a solar charge controller, a generic brand, a power inverter, this is a 500 watt that'll run smaller devices, and a not too small, not too big car battery. And for this operation, it's a must to have all the solar panels upside down so it doesn't introduce voltage while you're trying to wire everything together. Now, I've already got this pre-wired and I'll just explain everything in the microphone. You need to run the positive cables red to each solar panel, wiring them together and all the black cables together, wiring them together for each solar panel, that will be your negative. That's parallel wiring. Now, I run a fresh positive red cable from the solar panel wiring into the positive on the solar charge controller under the left panel on this controller to the solar panel section. Now give that a tug to make sure that's screwed in properly and we'll run a negative black cable from the black cable wiring on the solar panels. This is another long wire so that's why you gotta keep the uh, wiring exposed on the solar panels for a minute and give that a tug to make sure that is in. Now we have to wire the battery. Now this is just a regular car battery which is not recommended for a permanent setup but you can charge your battery to uh, use it on the car again. I have alligator clips just lying around and as long as you don't wire them to something else, you should be fine using these. Now, I run a spare cable, a new cable, uh, a positive red cable on the positive terminal, make sure it's the plus symbol, on the uh, battery. And I do the same for the negative, so the black negative cable on the battery is a fresh wire. Now I have to run a pos the positive cable from the battery, battery's positive terminal, to the battery section on the charge controller. Making sure that the red positive plus symbol, make sure those three things are in memory. And if you do it correctly, then something will show up. So, I'm screwing in the negative cable, the black cable, which is the minus symbol on the battery and the minus symbol on everything. And I run that into the charge controller's negative section, which should again bring up the voltage. Now we are working on the power inverter. This is 500 watts, so it will run uh, a few small things. <clears throat> now for this there are screws or things on the back of the power inverter. I am running again a positive red cable into the positive section on this power inverter, inverter. and then we have to run a black negative cable on the power inverter which is the minus symbol once again making sure positive is the plus symbol and usually a red cable as the identifier and the negative symbol is for well negative and <laughs> black cable and the minus symbol <clears throat> now we have to well I do it this way I run the inverter on the battery straight on the battery. <clears throat> now we have to put the positive red cable onto the <sighs> positive terminal on the battery. Then we have to run the black negative cable on the minus terminal, negative terminal on the battery, which is black which, well, the cable represents negative, meaning it's black. 
And that's the end result with everything wired up. Now, it's not really recommended <laughs> to uh, do it this way, but this is for temporary usage, and you could potentially do it this way if you put the right clips on the end of your wires and make sure everything is covered so nothing can get on your wiring and don't expose all your wires to the open air and to horrible weather and we are testing the power inverter this will run at the moment will run a small television uh, that should be like 30 watts or 35 watts an hour uh, we are running 280 watts an hour for 4 hours plus 20% loss or something. Uh, don't worry about that confusing stuff. This is just caveman nonsense. <coughs> and that turned on. And that's on. And we have charge. 